All right, so returning to, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is disappearing. Uh, returning to solving multi-step inequalities. Uh, here we have variable, variables on both sides of the equal sign. Uh, and so what we're going to want to do first is make it to where we have our variables both on one or the same side as the equal sign. So again, as I said before, I always like to move uh, my variables so that my variable is positive. And so since the 3 is smaller than the 6, I'm going to subtract 3 in from both sides. And so 6n minus 3n is 3n. Minus 1 is greater than 8. And so now I need to zero out my 1, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And so now I have 3n is greater than 9. And then I'm going to divide by 3. And so n will be greater than 3. And so then I can check my answer, um, but basically all of my solutions are any number that is bigger than 3. And because it doesn't have the equal to this, if I had to graph it, it would be one with an open circle. All right, next equation. Um, I asked myself, do I need to distribute? And the answer is yes. We're going to have to distribute that 2 to the 5 and the negative 4. So here we have 10 minus 8a is greater than or equal to 10 minus 8a. Um, and I know something. You may, you may not. I'm going to move my variables to the same side. So we're going to add 8a to both sides. And my a's disappear. So now I have 10 is greater than or equal to 10. And in this case, that is true. 10 is equal to 10, and so this is a true statement. And so if you have a true statement, then our answer is all real numbers. A can be any real number, and it's going to work. So my answer is all real numbers. And again, that's because if my variable drops out and this statement is true, which it is, our answer is all real numbers. Uh, on this one, I don't need to distribute, but I do have same side like terms. So I'm going to make this 6m minus 5 is greater than 7m minus 1m is 6m plus 7. Sorry, i got to make the cat stop scratching the couch. Um, from here, I am going to move my 6m. So I'm going to subtract 6m from both sides. And my m's will disappear, and I'm left with negative 5 is greater than 7. This will never be a true statement. All right, negative 5 is not greater than 7. Uh, and so since this is false, oh, there we go. Since this is false, my answer is that there is no solution. And you do have to be careful because it also depends on the sign. So like if we're looking at example 5, 10, if this was just greater than and didn't have the equal to, 10 greater than 10 isn't true. So then it would be no solution. But because it has the equal to, then it's an all real numbers. If for some reason the symbol was less than, then it would be a true statement. And so this would always work because I'd have negative 5 is less than 7. And so it would work for all numbers. So we just have to be careful about what we're working looking for. If the statement <coughs> we are left with is true, then it is all real numbers. If the statement we are left with is false, then it's a no solution. So I hope that helps you. Uh, that is it for multi-step inequalities. Um, see you on the flip side.